All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to configure your flash timing system to interface with RaceTab. Uh, so the first thing we'll need to do is open up our RaceTab program and select the meet that we already have set up. And you'll see under the setup tab over on the right side here, click automatic timing, click yes. Um, and that tells it we're going to be using an automatic timing system. Next, we'll need to go up here to the upper left hand corner to the race tab by the race tab sign. Click this little drop down arrow and go to the FAT interfaces mode. You'll see the first line here data folder. It's specifying where it's going to store the data. So we'll need to remember that folder because we'll have to point our um, flash timing program to that folder so that that's where we'll be able to find the files necessary to pull over the start list and the contestants for each race. Um, what brand is your FAT system? We'll click FT FAT for the flash timing system. Uh, the next line is automatic import. You can either leave this checked or unchecked. It does not matter if you do check it. Um, Race tab has a nice little feature that will automatically pull the results in as soon as it sees that file that you have created when you evaluate the picture in flash timing, it'll automatically pull those in without you having to do it. If you don't check that, um, you'll just add one step and you'll have to physically go in and click the get times button to pull the results into your race tab program. So once we have that set up, make sure you go to the bottom down here and click save and done. So it'll save these changes. And now we need to go to our flash timing program. So we'll click um, flash timing program. And if, you, if you're using multiple computers networked together, one to do capture on, one to review on, you'll need to do this same process on both computers. This one will open up the video capture mode and set it up there on the review computer you would open up the video review mode and configure it the same way just make sure that the folders you're pointing to are the ones that contain the data on the various computers you have networked together so we'll open up this video capture mode and uh, go to click the configure button here first thing we need to do is set a video capture path we'll click uh, create video folder for new meet now you can create the name of the meet if you don't have one created yet uh, you'll just type in new meet, whatever the name of the meet is, and click the date. Uh, and once you click this create meet button, it will add a folder for those files to be stored in. Now I'm going to select an existing meet that I've already got created here. So I click the demo meet, and you'll see down here in the bottom in blue, it shows where those videos that you're going to capture are going to be stored at. So we'll click OK there. Uh, now we've told it to store the videos in the demo meet folder under the flash timing videos folder. So next we need to tell it the scoring option. We'll click the drop down box here and select race tab. And we need to tell it where to find that data. And you'll see here it is pulled up already this folder that we saw in race tab. That's where the data is stored. So we'll click OK for that. If that is not the folder that shows up, if you've done a previous meet or you have some other computer that's had some other um, races timed on that maybe the old folder may still be in there. So you'll need to click this set scoring folder and find that folder in race tab. Now race tab puts this under your documents folder and you'll see if you click on the documents, you'll see race tab come up and then under race tab, you'll go down and find that timing sessions folder and click that. And that is where you'll store the data. You'll see it has pulled over the start list and the, um, event list from race tab and now we're ready to go.